ladies and gentlemen, you know, it seems like the crazies that get on flights are at a fever pitch. But there is a difference. I want y'all to notice the difference. Usually when our people get kicked off of flights, they're in some type of altercation, you know, argument. Usually it's just a verbalized argument with someone on the plane or someone that's part of the flight crew. These people just go completely off the rail. You know, they want to fight with you over their political views or they're just out of their mind altogether, saying all kinds of inappropriate things, acting out, being violent. It's a, it's a big difference. Trust me on this. You know, it's a huge difference. So it was the flight crew and passengers that had to bring this man under control. He really went off the rails. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this video. Now, this was a United Airlines flight that was going from Los Angeles to Boston when this occurred. Now, they were saying that this did not happen until like the last 30 minutes of the flight. Then this guy just went completely off the rail. I'm going to go ahead and show you the video and I'll be right back with my commentary. Jessica, chilling video, but also terrifying accounts from a passenger on that plane who says that man broke out of a pair of zip ties and had to be restrained until the plane landed here at Logan. Um, I had my 17 year old daughter with me. She was very upset during the whole time. She was crying. She thought that we were going to crash. For the first time, we're hearing from a passenger on board this United flight from LA to Boston that turned into a crime scene Sunday. Where are they diverting us? Because wherever it is, there's going to be a bloodbath everywhere. When federal prosecutors say a man identified as 33 year old Francisco Severo Torres of Lemonster tried to stab a flight attendant with a spoon he broke in the bathroom and attempted to open the plane's emergency door. I didn't see a, a weapon in his hand at that point, but he was, my, my husband was in the aisle seat, so he was standing like right next to my husband. I didn't see the, the spoon um, shank uh, um, until I saw the video after, after that. Speaking with CNN this morning, Lisa Olson says the first five hours of the flight were uneventful, but with about 30 minutes remaining, the man started ranting about drug dealers, Nazis. And I won't die when I take every bullet in that clip to wherever in my body they shoot it, and then I will kill every man on this plane. Before storming towards the front of the plane where he was tackled by passengers and even broke out of a pair of zip ties. Once we knew that there were only you know, one additional set of zip ties left. People were sending up their belts um, to help restrain him. We are now in an emergency aircraft. The pilots were able to land the plane safely at Logan, where Torres was arrested. He's now facing a charge of interference and attempted interference with flight crew members in attendance using a dangerous weapon, which carries the possibility of life in prison. And Lisa credited the work of not only the flight attendants, but obviously those passengers that jumped in to help. Again, Torres will appear before a judge on Thursday. Reporting live at Logan Airport this afternoon, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center Fox. Okay, so this is Severo Torres. This was the man on the plane. So, ladies and gentlemen, so this photo of him is from 2017. So you already know you got a problematic person here. So um, another passenger got out of their seat to try to subdue Torres, who approached two flight attendants, officials said. So the court documents, so he did get arrested, shows that Torres then allegedly he thrust the shiny object at a flight attendant that he had in his hand with like a stabbing motion. The flight attendant felt the object in Torres' hand to hit him on his um, collar. And they tied three, one of those um, zip ties on him. And he was able to break through that. So they said it took about four to six people to restrain him. And they had to restrain him for the rest of the flight by 
sitting on top of him. The flight crew, you know, immediately had zip tied his feet and arms. Olson said, and he was still screaming. He was somehow, um, you know, he just remained screaming and yelling, I guess, until the police finally came and got him off of the plane. I mean, that's got to be unnerving. You know, you got kids on flight and you got elderly people and they're sitting there watching this. I mean, this is just ridiculous, the kind of stuff that goes on. You know, it, it almost it make you have second thoughts about getting on a flight. If you can get around other ways, it, that might be the best thing to do than get stuck on a plane with somebody like Torres here. So they said Torres has a history of outbursts and bizarre behavior, including a 2017 case where he was accused of assaulting a family member while attempting to take a pair of car keys. Included in the associated case file, he was rambling even then. And he apparently wrote a letter to address a Massachusetts judge. And he wrote the judge about being watched and being the subject of false reports. Time he spent on the streets of Los Angeles, his artwork and the fear of a doctor who bribed to interfere with his well being. The letter concluded that the accusations that a large part of his community is keeping a secret. So he wrote this and sent it to a judge. How do I get a restraining order against a thousand people? The letter concluded. A handwritten comment pointed to the final question indicates that it was rhetorical. Yeah, it was. But y'all tell me what you think. I sure hope nobody have these kind of encounters. Um, so far I haven't being on flights, but you never know. I just hope that they can get a hold, you know, get this under control. And, you know, he got arrested, so he'll be facing another court appearance. I don't know if he's still there or he was able to get out. He could be still. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.